Hello there, lovely soul. This is today's energy update. And yeah, you get the real me. So today I'm guided to do something even different than I was guided to do for today. <laughs> uh, well, for the 12th, for the... <laughs> Guided to do something different for the 13th, even more different than the 12th. There we go. And uh, and that is to not do the report that I've been doing these last 12 days or 11, 12 days. Um, today we're going to get a pull it Hidden Worlds Oracle, and I'm going to facilitate a daily meditation. It's not supposed to be too long, and I already have an idea of sort of what we're going to get into because it keeps like playing around in a, like a record, but I'm not totally sure, uh, but I do know that I'm being guided to do something, there's our card, that I am being guided to do something very different for today. Um, first, I want to get right into the Oracle. <laughs> Interesting. Pulled the full moon temple, card number 27, celebration peak, transcendent moment. So very interesting. We have the next, let me just take a look here. I think it's on the 27th actually. <laughs> um, gonna make sure though. Yep. Full moon is on the 27th. <laughs> huh interesting and that is exactly five days after the 222 portal and that is going to be really uh, another really big energetic time and then five days later we have the full moon on the 27th so I would definitely take these next <laughs> couple weeks very seriously as far as your vibration what goes down um the meditation we're going to get into today is about abundance uh for the 13th today is the 12th today is the 12th <laughs> symbol was the horn of plenty and abundance and um i just keep feeling that energy needing to to ride on that energy heading into the 13th as well but anyway here we have card number 27 the full moon temple for uh our oracle for for tomorrow 2 2 13 or today i should say <laughs> sorry about that I'm trying not to do that anymore for the 13th oracle card and of course i just noticed that that is the date of our next full moon is on the 27th it full moon is at 12 24 uh, a.m in the pacific so just after midnight on the 27th moon set is at 6 54 so this is this is it, getting into the full moon stuff. I um, kind of can't help it just because of the card I just pulled, obviously, and being pointed towards the next full moon, even though we literally just had our new moon on the 11th. There's just a lot of energies coming through with this, with the moon through this entire time period. So anyway, here, let's get into it. The full moon temple celebration peak peak transcendent moment the time has come to celebrate an achievement a moment of glory and beauty to recognize the sublime blessing that is with you it is time to set up an altar within the home to sing the praises of the spirit and to give thanks for all that you have look around and know that in every moment of gratitude lies a key which unlocks more gifts that open opens the gate and allows the awaiting treasures of life to find their way to you it is time to build a temple to the fullness of your spirit just as this is as this moon is full and this temple has been created to extend her energy and amplify it 
so too when you build an altar or create a space within your life for gratitude celebration joy glad union with others the beauty of life grows more apparent seems more present and can be felt with every light tread of your feet upon the blessed earth Put down the work and carve out this time. Commit to celebrating your life and recognizing the milestones of your personal soul quest along the way. Take time to create a sacred space, be it an altar or a room or a home that is safe and nurturing space for you. Life must have its moments to delight in and you must now find a way to bring into existence a celebration of what you have done and making it so far dear one celebrate your life we of the hidden worlds do for you are a hopeful and unique creature and when you remember this you will feel the tide of pleasure sweep through you once again reawakening you to the joy of your own existence and a little mantra down here called illumination. I take time to celebrate who I am and what I am becoming. Each achievement is worth recognizing. For when I do, the possibilities of life open up to me. Wow, that is really powerful. So it is really interesting because... You know what I was just talking about with abundance and we are going to be getting into a meditation about abundance and this is talking about the treasures in our lives and it says look around and know that in every moment of gratitude lies a key which unlocks more gifts that opens the gate and allows the await awaiting treasures of life to find their way to you um so having the gratitude for for what you already have and obviously that is the way to uh always bring more in so celebrating your life and recognizing the milestones of your personal soul quest along the way so i think just an easy way to do that is to go back in time where was i a year from now or a year ago where was I two years ago what was life like how am I different what are what are what looks different in my life um how do I look different in my life you know stuff like that so you can really kind of see how far you've come um your development your your spiritual development um what fears you've conquered and what healings you've done or what you're thinking about doing in the future um, and just being grateful for your journey no matter you know how bumpy it may have been up until now uh, we really have the opportunity to rise above a lot of the the darkness that surrounds um, the light and when we're you know moving ahead we have our own blocks our own karma our own traumas our own experience um experiences with feeling lack or in fear of not having enough or not being um, protected or whatever all of that stuff is always his it's just a human condition um, and then the way our society is, is kind of built around, you know, the fears of being in lack. Uh, so, and there's just a lot of the money wound that needs to be healed. And I, I've worked on it a lot personally. I've had to overcome some big hurdles and I'm still dealing with that. Um, and you know, it's all connected. We're all connected to this matrix with the energy of money and the exchange of money and what money is and how money is used. And there's that whole old, old adage about how money is the root of all evil. And it's, it's really not, it's just people that mean harm to others or are greedy use money as a tool for their own darkness, their own means. But money is just a neutral 
energy and it it really depends on who is using that money and what they're using it for that makes it um, more powerful and, and amplifies its energy to do what it's going to do. So when we think about abundance it's and money and wealth and having you know things coming to us easily and and you know just the 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 channels of energy for abundance for people to um, partake of our services to be guided to us if we if we're that type of if we lead that type of life or that the people that we work for are going to see the value in in who we are and will be paid more um to do our service or to get paid hourly or however that works and whatever you're doing um so there's a lot that is about us and then beyond us and that has a lot to do with faith so anyway we're going to get into the meditation portion here. So just get into a comfortable seat. You need to pause this, go ahead, light some candles. Um, if you really want to create a space, I have music playing here in the back room. It's, it's not that loud. Um, but so you can put on some, some frequency music in the background. I would suggest, um, 111 or 963 would be great for this. And kind of pegging back off of the meditation that came through for the 12th here for the 13th. It's just, I've been seeing this over and over again, and it's just been really coming around to really do a meditation for this. So What we're going to do is just get into body here in a seated position. Make sure your spine is straight, shoulders straight, head is straight, abdomen is engaged, face is nice and relaxed, smile on your face. Let's tap in with right at the center of your body, your solar plexus and your heart and your sacral and your root and up to your throat and your third eye and your crown chakra, all your main seven chakras. Just kind of see them lighting up within you. Calling in your guides and guardians nice and close welcoming in your spirit tribe, your guides and guardians, angelics, ancestors, friends and family who have crossed over from this life and any uh, soul divine being that you are connected to coming in at this time to offer support. So just spend a moment here welcoming in your guides and guardians, your entire spirit tribe. Want to very intentionally connect with our Mother Earth Gaia. No matter where you are, no matter how uh, how high up in a in a high rise you might be, or if you're actually sitting on the earth itself, or just like I am, a few feet above it, or a couple feet above it only. Whether you're inside or outside, I want you to think about connecting with Gaia. Think about all the colors of nature that are of red, natural things that are red in nature, animals, plants, vegetables, fruit, trees, bushes, flowers, whatever's coming to you that is red, that's natural and seen in nature. 
course, animals count, so I just saw this beautiful, must have been a cardinal, kind of fly by my vision. <laughs> Same thing for the orange. Let's notice everything orange in nature and of Gaia. Anything coming to you that is of orange and that spectrum of color. And the same thing for yellow, connecting with Gaia and anything that is of nature that is of yellow in color and that spectrum. And these colors, of course, blending together, connecting with your body, connecting with Gaia. And let's go up to green. Of course, there's so much green that we can connect you with Gaia, just the trees alone. Just think about all the trees upon Gaia as we open up our heart chakras, tapping into that abundant energy of the color green emanating from Gaia. So much love that she shows us through the color green. Vines and grass and foliage and, and just all of the trees. Just the different shades of green all over Gaia, just tapping in with that. Even I'm being told how the waters can have that beautiful from blue to green color. So just tap in with all of what you can think of or what's coming to you. Green, it's green of Gaia, connecting with that heart chakra, connecting with Gaia. Feel her energies rising up in a pulse that matches your heartbeat. And the same with the throat chakra, with the blue. Thinking of everything that is of the blue color spectrum that is upon Gaia. Of course, the water. The oceans all over Gaia, the sky of Gaia. Again, any fruits, vegetables, bushes, trees that have the color, the hue of blue, connecting with the throat chakra and everything that is a blue, really feeling the energy. And one more up to the third eye chakra, indigo in color, that beautiful blend of purple and blue. It's our third eye, so let's tap in with our third eye and anything that is of that beautiful indigo hue of Gaia. And even things that you have created or things that you've seen in art, she considers all of that very natural and of Gaia because you are of Gaia, you're creating just like Gaia, it is natural, it's a natural creation. So I started seeing paints and paintings with that beautiful indigo color and that definitely counts. And lastly, that violet with our crown chakra opening up, just see it like a big umbrella opening up above our heads connecting to everything of violet that is of nature, of Gaia, anything coming to you. <clears throat> and just for a moment, just take yourself and your awareness outside of your body, looking in and turning down the saturation, just seeing yourself just lit up with light from the bottom up and then emanating in a beautiful rainbow pattern through your legs, opening up your feet chakras and just letting the energy spill out and fall down, connecting with Gaia and your arms, that heart chakra energy going through your arms, down your arms, through your hands. And we work with our energetic wings here. So opening up the channels of energy straight at your shoulder blades, 
going down about six inches, just opening up on either side of your spine at your shoulder blades, opening up like a zipper on either side all the way and just letting the energy leave your upper back through those channels. That's what your heart chakra energy is meant to do. So just open up and just let it go. And again, down the arms through the hands and just let it emanate and pour out of your hands, opening everything up. And then I am already seeing a scene here. We're going to make our way as uh, we're walking through a park or a secluded, or it could just be um, not. It's a very, I guess you could say like in the woods, a, a national park, a, a forest, beautiful. You're very familiar with this. And even if you're not, take yourself to a place that that maybe you've seen in your mind's eye or someplace that you've gone to. Um, could even be something, that, a place that you've kind of seen in, in a movie or a TV show. Just you know, see yourself walking through um, a wooded area there's trees all around. But there's a path. <clears throat> there is a path. And you're just going to follow this path and look around. Going for a little bit here. And just take yourself there and start to feel in the energies of this place. The abundant energies of Gaia, of nature, feel, feel the air and how pure it is. Nearby, you maybe can't see it from where you are, but nearby there's a creek leading into a bigger river. So you can hear that off in the distance a little bit. And we're going to make our way to a clearing here. And there's just a golden orb of light in the clearing, it would be like a small sun, but just emanating uh, warmth and love. It's not too hot. And we're just gonna get closer to it. It's very inviting. It's a, it's a decent size orb, I would say, um, about 20 to 30 inches in diameter and it's just glowing with this beautiful yellow so we're just going to get closer to that until we're just right in front of it and it's just floating there in front of us just a little bit higher than our, our where our head is so just a little bit higher and it's floating there this beautiful yellow golden orb and we're just going to stand here and feel this energy and see this beautiful golden orb. And it represents um, wealth and abundance and purity and good intentions and service to others, gratitude and generosity, giving and receiving. So just all of those kinds of energies coming from this beautiful golden orb. And then it starts to transform into a horn of plenty. And you can see just money is starting to appear in, in the horn right there in the center and starting to come out, but it's not moving forward or it's just trickling and we start to see before us there's these um i guess like invisible almost like plexiglass or glass i'm being told glass sheets or or windows like like one in front of the other between us and that orb turning into the horn of plenty with the money starting to appear there's just these panes of glass yes panes of glass that are just appearing and this is symbolizing our blocks our fears about um being in lack or not having enough 
um, maybe that we're not worthy, uh, anything like that, any karmic ties that we've had. So in the panes of glass, um, images will start to appear. And as we see one come into, into focus, so this could be our childhood and we've had, had fears of money or stress about money, not having enough money possibly from childhood. So we want to knock this pane of glass down, want to touch it with our finger, want to have the intention of releasing those ties and that energy to that. So this is kind of a form of cord cutting, but it's really acknowledging what's our blocks. So see that and then touch it and see it fall away. And then the next one, you can see that possibly like um, past issues with maybe having money, feeling like you were secure and then losing that money or losing the channel of, of money coming to you. Of course, a lot of people have dealt with that even just this past year. So the fear of that having again, if you're going to have it again, losing it again, and that up and down um, experience, that dualistic type of experience. So you want to touch that pane of glass and see it fall away. We're not going to be in fear of the future and not having enough in the future. We're going to open up the channels of abundance to come to us. The people, places, experiences, and and uh, anything that that we need to be a part of that's going to bring abundance, including money, wealth, people that's going to help us, ideas, creativity, the motivation to do things, to stay out of a lower vibration. So we're going to hit that pain. Everything's going to fall away. And just maybe... Uh, like I once did, they're showing me you used to hate money. You used to f hate money, the whole concept of money. You did not like it. And I had to work on that. So if you're somebody who has thought that, felt that, lived that kind of existence where you thought, oh, I hate money, hate everything about money. That is the next pane of glass. Just see that even written there. I hate money. And even before you destroy and take down this pane of glass, just draw an X over it. And in place, say, write, I love money. I love money. Right over the I hate money. We're going to scratch that out or cross it out, however you see that. And instead, say, I love money. Remember the universe, our guides, our guardians, if they try to keep from us what we do not like. So if we really feel like we hate money, they're going to keep it and the universe is going to keep it away from us because clearly we have lessons to learn about money and the vibration of it. So we have to transmute that change from I hate money to I love money. I can be more generous with money. I can be, I can, I can create more and put more out with money. I can employ other people with money. I can donate with money. Money is a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. So I love money. And then let's shatter that glass. And then I just want you to take a moment here. They're just saying if there's anything else that's that's here, if it's a person in your life, maybe a specific, you know, we talked about your childhood, but if there's a specific person that you know really instilled a lot of fears about money or made you feel inadequate about how you deal or, or, or are with money, there's one person that you can think of that has kind of put negativity on money. Maybe they loved money more than they loved you. And that was more important to them. And you felt that. So let's see that person. Or if there's multiple people that fit this description. Let's see that person and then say, I forgive you. I know you are putting off your fears into the universe upon me. It's not about me. I'm healing my, my money wound and I'm disconnecting 
the energies that you have put upon me about money and I'm healing the money wound right now. I'm disengaging your energy from my energy when it comes to money and how I feel about it. So just see them there, send them love. Just directly from your palms, your entire being, just send the image to them, directly to their heart, send them love. Whatever part they played, it was important. So release resentment, angers, fears, traumas associated with this person or people. And just let's touch that pane of glass and see it dissolve. And then lastly, I want you to see yourself in as a reflection in this pane of glass. And just think about how you feel about money, how you feel about abundance, how you feel about receiving, how grateful you are for what you have, where you do feel lack, why, where do you feel abundance? And let's amplify that. Let's turn down the energy of the fear. Let's just see that turning down. Let's turn up the energy of gratitude, of recognizing how far you've come, what you have healed within you when it comes to to money, abundance, wealth, finances, anything like that, being in debt, stress about money, anything like that. And just see yourself here and and the the real expression of how you feel about money is it frightened is it sad is it is it neutral is it happy what's your expression and just decide right now no matter what it is it can always rise and your vibration can get higher in regards to abundance and money and finances and releasing debt and the vows of poverty that you may have have either consciously or subconsciously uh, tied yourself to in this life or any other life. And remember, these lives that we're in are meant for us to heal so much from our past, from the karma, from not only ourselves, but from from the our ancestral history as well so it's a lot so just see how how all of this money stuff is upon you and then what i want you to do is just reach through the pane of glass and give yourself a nice big hug and tell yourself you're worthy of abundance. There's so much love surrounding you, coming in. There's nothing to worry about. You are taken care of. The channels of abundance are coming. So just imagine, you know, frozen water at the top of a mountain and it becoming spring and things loosening up, defrosting and things just releasing and letting go and the rush of water going and just think about that being the flow of abundance, the flow of clients into your world, the flow of people wanting your services, the flow of of um, job opportunities or or anything that, that you wish for that you need right now. Just feel it coming. And then again, with that Horn of Plenty, we've reached the end. The Horn of Plenty is right there. And I want you to look at it and see all the money stacking up behind it, ready to just pop and just shower all over you. So I want you to say, I'm ready to receive the abundance that is destined for me. I'm ready to receive the abundance that is destined for me. I deserve wealth and happiness and comfort. I want to help others with my abundance that comes to me. I want to inspire others. 
I deserve the wealth and abundance that is destined for me. I will not be in fear. And then I want you to see the money just starting to flow out of the horn of plenty, hundred dollar bills flying out all over and washing over you like a beautiful money shower right from this horn of plenty emanating from this beautiful golden orb and just let it just wash over you and and just build a pile of money at your feet and just see it grow and grow and grow and then see the embedded timelines wrapped and woven in with the money and what it all means and how bright and alive and beautiful it is. And then I want you to see the energy coming up from Gaia, from the ground that the money and you are standing on and see the money start to change and turn to uh, rainbow colors and light and just magic and see what magic money is see the abundance and it still flows and it's coming out and it's all around you and it's just beautiful and the money is flying and there's rainbows and lights everywhere and you're just happy and you've released everything and there's no darkness surrounding money or abundance you're so grateful for everything you have and just think about everything that you have and everything that's ready to come to you and let the space just fill with money everywhere you look. Money, money, beautiful golden orb and the horn of plenty just spilling out money. It turning to magic and rainbow light. It's connected with you and Gaia and it's swirling everywhere around you. And just let it fill your entire space all around you until you're in this beautiful rainbow bubble and sphere of abundance and beautiful generous energy and you can feel your guides your guardians your angelics hear them rejoice that you're in this space And breathe it in, take it in, really absorb it into your being. Absorb all of this energy into those chakras that we activated that's part of this entire thing that's connected with Gaia and the magic of wealth and money and abundance and all the good and rich, beautiful things that we are to do with that abundance and money and just multiply it and multiply it and multiply it paying off debts giving people money who need it donating creating things people gladly buying and paying for what we have because it's meant to go out into the world and so we need the resources to do these things so just see it coming in and see it absorbing into you so out of the horn of plenty all the way around you and over you all at your feet filling up this entire bubble and just absorb it absorb it absorb it let it fill your entire being up until everything is just that beautiful, abundant energy emanating from you, going out in all directions. Just see infinite timelines going out from you in all directions, branching off and that energy following through over all of the timelines, beautiful, abundant rainbow light energy magical energy going going infinitely out perfect and beautiful and i thank you and i thank 
Gaia and our guides and guardians for bringing us here. It's even more beautiful than I could imagine and what we are going to do. Very, very powerful and emotional. I hope that you um, really stay in this energy, integrate it with yourself. Think about it before you go to sleep tonight. Do this again before you go to sleep tonight. Um, And uh, again, thank you, Gaia. I think, thank our guides and guardians, your mine and yours, mine and ours. I hope you have a truly beautiful day, the 13th of February. Um, please remember our beautiful Oracle messages before we started this and please share this with anybody who you feel could use this boost of abundance energy through their system. Infinite love and blessings, family. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already. Always live in love forever and always infinity till next time.